Hello friends, this is Umesh Arora from CATCAM Solution Merit and today we will create this drawing in CATIA V5 and here we have two views, uh, one is front view and second is section from AA, see the section is showing here and the part will look like this. So let's start with the CATIA V5, select this sketch and click on YG plane and here I am starting this with a line and first of all dimension it <coughs> and the dimension is 77 and <coughs> select this at this point and make constant so that the line will constant with this okay now define the angle so select this and the angle between this and this is 60 degree which is mentioned here okay still it is move no problem we will change it <coughs> now click here and I am starting from here so this is first line then a little bit taper then straight down and here again a little, little bit down and match it <clears throat> I need one more line so I will mirror it uh, but first I am going to dimension it so here from here to this center point this is 32 and again from this point to this line no this line is not mentioned here so I am selecting this last one so this dimension is 77 which is already mentioned so set a line and draw <clears throat> now from here to this line the dimension is 65 okay so this point and this point both with coincident okay and next this line this is half of 44 is 22 and this dimension is half of 80 is 40 and from here to this is half of 84 is 42 and still we have this length which is 4 and 65 so we have to create one arc and I am using this 3 point arc and for this before this I am going to use this mirror so uh, select this line and mirror about this now use this arc start and end midpoint and dimension it and dimension of this arc is 70 is the radius okay so my sketch is fully constrained fully defined just right click and convert this line to reference same here and same here and I want to cut it because I don't require this line after this axis so click over it so it will cut okay so still we have to define one dimension now this dimension is varying so select this point and this line and make them coincident exit and revolve it and my axis is this zoom it this one ok so first step is completed again I am where is the sketch here is the sketch show it ok on the same plane I am going to sketch again select this and sketch 
and use the line align and arc which is up to this center now dimension it so the radius of this arc is 223 and this point and this vertical gap is 185 and drag it define this line click and here it is 68 and here we have to change uh, this 5 mm gap we have 13 minus 8 is a 5 so 80 185 minus 5 is 180 so change it to 180 my sketch is constrained now exit <coughs> now I am selecting this point plane up to this point and select this and create first section so my first section is a circle so select and draw a circle and dimension of the circle is 24 28 is a diameter now select this and this line or we have this point so select this point and make them constant finish now hide this plane and create new plane on this so my point is this okay and this time i am going to create over this plane so i am not selecting this i am selecting this position sketch and my position is not properly flip the horizontal and okay here i am going to start with circle and first circle is this and one more circle oops delete this constraint because i don't need this circle double click and define here so 12 is a radius so 24 will be the diameter and same for this 24 excuse me and arc from here to here click and again from here to here and click first make them tangent and then I will dimension it so select this line is arc and is arc and apply tangency same for this circle and this arc apply constraint and now dimension this this is 35 in radius and again this is 35 in radius okay and click and drag it okay and dimension I want to define dimension between this is 40 and just scale it and here just draw one line from center to center and make it constraint and now uh, select this what is the dimension of this this is 16 okay I don't want to define just select this point and this point okay click this is half of 16 is 8 so it will come at the middle of this now trim whatever we don't require I'm going to delete so this is my first section exit and again one more plane I have to create from here so on this point click okay I select this sketch and here I am using the same portion sketch same same I am doing again just draw a circle one more circle and dimension it 24 is a dia and same 24 is a 
next to I am selecting this arc from here to this and again same from here to here and again dimension 8 uh, this is 35 in radius and same here 35 is the radius and draw one line okay and now uh, just define this center point to this point the dimension will be 8 just undo it and let's see what is remaining okay drag it it is not I think connected properly so select this circle and arc and make them tangent and same here with this circle and arc define the tangency now change this to 8 okay and what is remaining it is still moving okay so the dimension this dimension is 16 or outer to outer is 40 so from here to this point is 40 so we'll change it now trim the extra lines exit okay uh, this position is not properly so double click and see it is not properly delete this and the dimension is from upper point to this point this dimension will half of 16 is 8 and finish and now we have four points so we have to cut this circle okay so I am selecting this break break and click first point here and again next point here and one more point here and finish now use this point and make it horizontal so point will align properly and same here I am doing with this select it and apply vertical now I am going to rotate all four segment and two lines so click here and we have this rotate and my point is this I don't require any duplicate angle will 45 and finish <coughs> now <coughs> I am going to apply this multi section I think some problem is here okay it is highlighting maybe it will not connect properly let's see <clears throat> now select first sketch okay sketch 13 is not closed properly so select here and see this point is not properly joined so select this point and this point make them coincident okay and here as well uh, this point and this arc make concentric okay and finish now see point is properly joined now my first section is this and second section is this uh, right click over this closing point and replace to this point and my third section is this so click here and add to add to another section okay my section are properly joined to see the preview so we have to add a spine so my spine is this and here in coupling we have to change it to ratio okay and preview and click okay and 
one more thing is remaining so select this circle sketch and create another circle and click here see select with this and make them cosenticity and radius of this circle is diameter is 24 so change it to 24 okay and exit okay before extruding this i have to show this no this is not i require i require the first section so show this ah uh, no this is not okay this one select this extrude and i want to extrude this at 5 and for this extrude to 8 it is 13 sorry here see this is 13 and one radius click and sorry click here and zoom it I want to define here so fillet is 2 okay and now we have to define uh, the shell so here we have the shell and the thickness of this shell is given here 1 so 1 and I want to remove this face as well as this face and click ok ok and here in shading I have this so without edges this will look like this and in hide hide all the sketches and hide all the planes okay and if you want to change the color so we have so many color and we have material as well so change here to matlick and apply apply material and from painting i am selecting any apply and see okay and we have so many colors see orange and this one so any color you want to apply you apply and okay so hope you understand this how to create this part thank you for watching and please do subscribe our channel